Hello, everyone. My name is Andriy Chumak. I am professor of physics at the University of Vienna. And this semester, I teach a course on advanced materials. I share it with one of my colleagues at the faculty. And in the process of lecturing, students approach me and ask if it's possible to put the lectures online, that they have the possibility to see the materials anytime they like. And that's how we came to YouTube. In this short introductory video, I would like to say a few words about the content of the lecture and how it is organized. Let me share my screen first. Okay, so here you can see the title of the course, Advanced Materials, and I would like to present you the co-author of the course, Dr. Kristina Lepchenko, who developed the content and the concept jointly with me. And also, I would like to acknowledge the support from Dr. Vitaly Yunko and from Pedro Del Real, who uh, helped with editing movie, with making these nice animations, uploading, and so on. If to speak about the content of the lecture, first of all, we have to understand that advanced materials is a huge uh, topic. And materials nowadays create kind of a skeleton for modern sites, for modern applications and devices. Uh, but my job was to focus on two particular types of advanced materials, uh, on magnetic advanced materials and spintronics advanced materials. So in magnetic part, we will discuss magnetism. So we will try to clarify why some materials are magnetic and others not, which models are used what are the typical families of magnetic materials? And of course, we will discuss where they are used in our life. And then we will switch to spintronics, which is a field of science in which, in addition to charge of electron, which is used in electronics to carry and to process information, we use a spin of electron. And it gives you additional degree of freedom and you can develop new types of devices. You have access to a family of very cool, interesting, new physical phenomena, and all this we will discuss in this part. And of course, these two parts are closely related, and we will be all the time uh, discussing the uh, overlap between them. What parts will be plugged into the course? Uh, so it will be always done slightly different, but the plan is that I will try to go through the following parts. First of all, of course, motivation. So you have to answer question why this material which is presented in the course is of interest at all. And for physics, usually it's quite easy because uh, a lot of achievements from physics are used in our everyday life. And then we will switch to the next question. How does something work and why does it work? Why it's of course a joke, but if to be a bit more on a serious size, it's, um, side, uh, why it's a question which physics likes to answer. Therefore, here we will be discussing the physical principles, phenomena, materials, parameters, key experiments, which we used to demonstrate the validity of one or another model. Then we will speak in the course a bit about technology. So principally, it's not a course on technology here. Therefore, it will be used here and there slightly. But of course, it's a modern uh, science. Therefore, we will speak how to measure some magnetic properties or how to uh, grow some samples. This kind of things will be covered here. And finally, we will lock the loop. We will come to application, which is pretty often related to motivation. And they will be uh, presented a selection of devices and just basic principles of their operation will be given in the lecture. Okay, and here I would like to show you an example of slide that you have an understanding what to expect from the course. And these slides are prepared somewhat different from the typical scientific slides which we give at conferences, because here you can see a lot of text. And this is done on purpose, of course, that students have a possibility to read the material. You can always pause the video and take as much time as you need in order to understand them, something, and then you can go on. Moreover, here at the bottom of every slide, you can see the reference. For example, in this lecture, I will 
intensively use this fantastic book from Professor Krishnan on fundamentals and applications of magnetic materials. And moreover, here when I present figures, pretty often I use original caption from the figure that you have a that it will be easy for you to find this particular part in the book. Yeah, so the course is specially designed in a way that it explains the main points, but if you want to uh, learn more or to go deeper, then you always can easily do it, but of course then you have to work at home with book. And finally, this is something which relates to students who are preparing themselves for the examinations. Uh, I do here a little trick. You see this uh, red rectangle? And the idea is very simple, that if I believe on this slide, there is something very important. Important to me that there is a high probability that uh, questions from this slide will go to examinations. Then I put here red square. But at the same time, it's very important to give uh, another information around. It just gives you a better understanding or better, better memorization of something. And in this case, if information is just uh, play such a supportive role, then I put here a green uh, rectangle, which means that this information uh, unprobably that it will be asked or at the exam. And of course, there will be just slides without any uh, mark. This means just material, which might be asked, might be not asked. So that's it for the introduction, and let us switch now to the first lecture. Mm -hmm.